Welcome to the second part of the Selfie Store mini series. If you don't know, this mini series consists out of three videos. In the first video, I showed you how to set up your Selfie Store. In this video, you're going to learn how to customize the store. And in the third and last video, I'm going to show you how to upload your first product. If you haven't seen the first video, be sure to watch it first. It's linked up here. If you already have set up your Selfie Store and you just want to know how to customize the store, stay right here. We're going to do that right now. So on the dashboard, we have to click on Customize Store. If you're not on this slider already, you're here or here here just click on customize your store and customize your store again so this is our store right now pretty empty so first we're going to customize the home page for this I'm going to click on home and we're starting with the hero block which is this section up here just click on this little pen and you're in the editing setup on the first layer module block you can change the size of this block up here you can do small medium or large I'm going to stick with medium because I think it looks the best you can change the background color to any color you want I change it to red just so you can see what color is changing you can see it right here because there is an image uploaded right here it's just this stock placeholder image if you remove it you can see it's red right here but I'm going to change it back to white not back to white it was gray but I'm going to change it to white because I'm going to upload an image which covers this whole space anyways the recommended size is 1920 by 350 pixels but you can of course upload it in another image resolution or aspect ratio and just resize it right here in the store just be sure that the image is high quality so it's not pixelated I'm going to upload my channel banner for now I'm of course going to change it in the future but for now my YouTube channel banner is fine you can change the image position right here if it's up or down or right or left but I'm just going to stick with the middle. You can select cover all, which is what I'm going to do, and repeat pattern. Don't know what this changes, but I think since my resolution is big enough, it doesn't have to repeat a pattern. You have the title Yannick Films and the subtitle My Store Description right here, but I'm going to change that because I think you just need that if you have a solid color background and want to write something with these titles right here. But since I have uploaded an image, I don't need any of that. I'm just going to write test one more time because I want to show you. You can of course align the text to the left, to the right or to the middle. And you can change the color right here. But again, I'm going to just delete it because I don't really need it. That's it for the hero block. Now we're going back to the menu and select the navigation option. Here you also have the small, medium or large option, but I'm going to stick again with the medium option because I think it looks the best. Then we can upload our logo. I'm going to upload my logo right here. Here we go, looks beautiful. Here we can turn on the sticky navigation. I don't know exactly what this is right now, but I think it's when you scroll down that you have the menu on the upper part. If you turn it off, it disappears, but if you turn it on, it will stick right up here. Here we can turn off the shopping cart, but I think we should leave it on because of course a customer wants to know what he or she is buying. We can also turn off the store search, but I don't know why you should do that. I mean, it's cool that we have the option to turn it off, but I'm gonna leave it on because it's pretty cool and pretty neat to search something in the store. If you already have in mind what you wanna buy, but you don't know where to find it, you can just search it. Here you can change the color of the text. You're gonna change contact and of course also the little search option and the shopping cart. I'm gonna demonstrate it if I'm just gonna type in a random number it will change and now it's white which is why I'm turning it back to this beautiful gray you can also change the background color but well that looks gross but I'm gonna leave it on white because I think it's clean and that's good you can also change again the contact to the middle to the right or to the left I'm gonna leave it to the left because it's already a pretty good thought out system the navigation editing module is of course also linked to every page like not just to the home page but to the product pages as well let's go back to the product option of course I can't show you anything here because we're going to add our first product in the next video but I think you can already get a pretty good idea of where the products will be you can change the column count which is on three right now I think this is pretty cool you can change the products per page which is on 54 right now this is a lot but you can change it to I don't know 50. These are a lot of products. I hope someday I will have 50 products on my Selfie store and we have a lot planned for 2021. So consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video on new products on my store or on new videos, new tutorials. Basically, if you want to learn something about filmmaking and the filmmaking business, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. You don't have to do, but I would appreciate it very much. Moving on. You can manage the discount tags here, but we don't have any products right now, so this is obsolete for now. You can edit the background color, the text color, the shape of the products, but I think a rectangle is way cooler than a circle. You can edit the position and the type, and that's it for this module. Moving on to the footer. The footer is also linked to all pages, and you can as always select the size, which is set to small right now. You can of course also use medium, 
which makes it a little bit bigger or large, which is in my opinion way too large. I'm gonna stick with small again because it looks pretty cool. Background color is white, which looks awesome. And the text color again in this beautiful gray. You can add your social links, which is what I'm going to do. First, my YouTube channel, which is the most important to me, youtube.com slash Films. Same applies to my Instagram account, which is of course as well, Instagram com slash Yannick Films, I think. Is this the URL? Let me take a look. Yep, this is it. And what more social links do we have? Facebook? Nah, don't really use that. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Behance. What is that? Dri dribble with 3B? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, of course, my website. I'm gonna link that, which is yannickfilms.de. And maybe even my LinkedIn profile, which should be linked in slash Yannick Films. Is this correct? Page not found. Okay, so I'm gonna link my LinkedIn account later. Then we can go back two steps and edit the contact page. The page title is contact, I'm gonna leave it to that. URL slag is slash contact, which makes sense. It's on visible, if you turn it off, this disappears, but we're gonna leave it on visible so people can contact me. You can of course as well edit the navigation module, but I'm gonna leave it how it is because I think it's already good. This one is turned to large, you can of course make it medium or small, but I think Again, on large, it looks pretty good. The background color is fine as well. And the title, I'm gonna leave it to contact. You can, of course, write something like get in contact with me or something like that. But I'm gonna leave it to contact. And the text color is black. Then you can again put it in the middle on the right or leave it on the left side. Once we have all that, then you can edit the footer as well. But since we already did that, we're gonna leave it as it is. Also, you can see there are the social links down there, which looks pretty cool, pretty beautiful graphics. And once we have done all that, we can hit publish on the right side. It's publishing and store settings saved successfully visit your new store. And I'm gonna click back to dashboard and we can view my store. Here we go, doesn't that look beautiful? It's pretty empty right now, but if you wanna know how to add some products, well, what a transition, consider subscribing to this channel and also hit the bell icon so you get notified when the next video is going to be released. In the next video, we're going to learn how to add the first product. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna register to Selfie, be sure to use my link down in the description. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it very much. If you wanna watch the last video, click right here. I showed you how to set up the Selfie store in the first place. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Goodbye.